Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky decorated Muslim soldiers on Friday, the same day he met with some of the country's top brass. One topic up for discussion? How to prevent leaks of military information. It comes after the New York Times reported that secret war documents were posted on social media, detailing U.S. and NATO efforts to help Ukraine plan a counteroffensive against Russia's invasion. Reuters has not been able to review the documents, and a Ukrainian official has suggested the posts could be part of a Russian disinformation operation. While leaders work to hash out ideas, rounds from Ukrainian howitzers echoed through this forest in northern Donetsk. These soldiers are just a couple dozen miles from the war-torn hub of Bakhmut, one of the last urban centers in the eastern province yet to fall to Russian forces. British intelligence suggests those forces are threatening a key supply route to the city. Ukraine says it's holding on in a difficult situation. Donetsk is one of four provinces in eastern and southern Ukraine that Russia declared annexed last year and is seeking to fully occupy. With millions of Ukrainians having fled the conflict, which has left thousands of civilians dead, world leaders are weighing in on what they think it will take to end the crisis. The Kremlin has said it will not consider peace unless Kyiv accepts the loss of territories Russia has annexed. In Turkey, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov noted Moscow would never refuse serious proposals for dialogue. While meeting with French President Emmanuel Macron, China's leader Xi Jinping said a political settlement is the only correct way out of the crisis, according to China's foreign ministry. For its part, Ukraine says there can be no negotiations until Russia withdraws all of its forces.